Chapter 5. War Story. Core Need, Safety. Core Life Values, Dishonor versus Honor. Core Emotions, Intrigue. Core Event, The Big Battle. War Story answers the complex question, how do we secure our group survival while maintaining our humanity in the process? War Stories extend the action genre's existential question to a larger group, adding more complexity and an emphasis on the means of survival rather than just the end goal. Is the cause the characters are defending worth dying for? Readers of War Stories experience intense emotions and powerful connections to the warriors, feeling pride in an honorable fight and shame or despair if they discover the cause is unworthy. How do you deliver the experience War Story readers are looking for? The core need for collective safety arises in the war genre when a force of antagonism attacks. These stories help us navigate our own battles to defend shared lives, homes, and beliefs. Life and death stakes are in play, but the core life values in war stories derive from the need for safety. One spans victory and defeat, and the other, honor and dishonor. The most positive end of the value spectrum in a war story brings the character victory with honor. The furthest extreme on the negative end brings victory with dishonor that is misrepresented as honorable. We identify three subgenres in war story, including the pro-war story, the anti-war story, and the kinship of war story. Each subgenre includes the victory defeat range of values, but they also explore the values of honor and dishonor. Note that in the past, we've used brotherhood, a term of art in discussions of war stories, which historically feature all male casts of characters. As we work toward less gendered language and in recognition that warriors are male, female, transgender, and non-binary, we've replaced brotherhood with kinship. In war stories, Readers see that victory is only meaningful when honor is maintained. Traditional war stories tell us it is better to lose honorably, or even to lose dishonorably, than to win dishonorably. When we face a crisis in our ordinary lives that may require a more honorable or a less honorable choice, we remember this lesson. We also must consider whether the metaphorical battles of our ordinary lives are worth fighting as well as how we engage in them. Readers identify with the luminary agents of war stories and the larger groups they defend. Just as in action stories, the risk of death for characters to whom we've become intimately connected evokes excitement and fear. But the core emotion in war story is intrigue, which we describe as an intense fascination about what will happen next. How will the luminary agent or agents contend with the seemingly impossible situation? The payoff of intrigue is the flavor of satisfaction when the penny drops, that familiar feeling when we finally realize that two plus two equals four. In Stephen Pressfield's Gates of Fire, for example, the warriors at the Battle of Thermopylae refuse to surrender and dishonor their community. Despite facing certain slaughter, they explore and discover how to find a meaningful death as the means to save others from tyranny. The global crisis of war story usually brings us to the edges of each spectrum. Victory, Victory versus defeat, and honor versus dishonor. As the luminary agent must decide whether to express their gifts or face their own death and the group's destruction, the global crisis sets up the core event, which is the big battle scene. This crisis is also the moment when the luminary agent breaks their cognitive frame to examine whether the society and ideals they are fighting for are worthy of their death. The battle, which is both the global climax and the climax of the ending payoff, integrates all three core essentials as the luminary agent's core need defines the core life value at stake, which when attained elicits a core emotion response in the reader. The core need is in peril and the luminary agent must choose between their own safety and the safety of the group. The deeper takeaway of war story lies in self-actualization through the expression of the gifts of love and self-sacrifice. Each character can become a hero by defending fellow warriors honorably in the face of horrific pain and loss. The existential question evolves into, when is an individual death appropriate to enable the group to survive? This affirmation of a greater meaning in our lives as members of a group is why we read war stories. The controlling idea or theme of war story reflects a journey towards self-actualization. War derives meaning from the noble love and self-sacrifice of warriors, and it lacks meaning when leaders corrupt warriors' sacrifices on the battlefield. Beyond the battlefield, the theme of leveling up each person's gifts of creativity and sharing them with others to solve problems 
is the purest expression of our humanity and what makes us far more powerful as a collective than as individuals. We will return to this theme in future books, particularly as we explore worldview stories. Summing up. In war stories, our need for collective safety allows us to identify with the luminary agent and other characters. And we respond to conflicts with the victory versus defeat and honor versus dishonor spectrums with intrigue. In the core event, the big battle scene, the core need for safety is most in jeopardy. The life value reaches the extremes, and the core emotions are also at their highest. By setting up and delivering this scene in an innovative way, we deliver on the war story readers' expectations.